Number 15. The longest 15 minutes. This one is mind-numbingly chilling. Redditor F- was a woman home alone, living in a fairly rural area. Around midnight, someone started pounding on her door. Thinking it was her boyfriend, she approached the door, but looking through the small glass pane, she could see it wasn't him. This man was bearded, her boyfriend was not. Slowly, she backed away. Her house didn't have cell reception, so she couldn't use her cell phone to call 911. Instead, she crept to her room to use the landline, but the line was cut. The Redditor writes, it was just like a horror movie. So she stood in horror. The stranger was still banging on her front door and telling her to let him in with a slurred voice. She ran into the kitchen, grabbed a huge chef knife, locked herself in the bathroom and perched behind the shower curtain on the bathtub, thinking that if he broke in, she'd pounce on him. She could hear the man roaming around her house's exterior, banging on the siding. As she was standing there in terror, but also surprisingly happy with her plan, she suddenly remembered that her bedroom phone hadn't been charged and perhaps her line wasn't sabotaged at all. Full of fear, she crept out of her perfect hiding spot in search of another headset, while the man continued around the outside of her house, checking every door and window. She finally found a headset that worked and dialed 911. An officer was now on his way, but it would be 15 minutes before he arrived. She was told to stay on the line but to get back in her hiding spot, so she did and that's where she spent the longest 15 minutes of her life. Don't worry, the man didn't manage to get in before police showed up. As it turns out, the scruffy man had been at a party down the road and was just completely wasted and had mistaken her house with his friends. At least, that was his story. Either way, that must have been the most terrifying wait in the history of time. Number 14. The Staring Man this entry was submitted to Reddit by an anonymous user who said he didn't like writing it because it still creeped him out. When the Redditor was 12, he was sick and sleeping in the living room where it was the warmest in his house. It was around 2 a.m. when he woke up sensing someone was standing right next to him. The user always read himself to sleep so he had a flashlight in his hands. He pulled it out, turned it on, and directed it where he felt the person was. A man was standing a foot away from him, staring as he said, right into my face. When he was spotlighted, he fled out of there. As the boy screamed, waking up the entire household, his parents came racing to his side. You might think that this boy must have been seeing things. After all, he was sick. But as it just so happened, the man really had broken into the house. Talk about a massive, scary twist that must have left this Redditor freaked out for a very long time. Number 13. Bed of Snakes If you have a snake phobia, you might want to prepare yourself for this one. Redditor Beezus Quinn lived in a woodsy property, an old house by a lake, home to stray cats and mice, and as this Redditor would soon discover, other more unsavory creatures. The Redditor returned home one night from work, ready to hit the hay. It was early spring, so still kind of chilly out in the country, and her bed had a heating vent beneath it. She probably couldn't wait to get under the covers, but when she pulled the blanket back, she froze with fear. There were dozens of occupants already inside. The bed was filled with snakes. What did our friend do? In the Redditor's own words, I calmly dropped the blanket, walked out of the room, closed the door and screamed, then ran out of the house to my neighbors. The neighbors helped her out, giving her the guest room for the night. While the man of the house got rid of the snakes, along with the blankets and the mattress, he also fixed the hole they'd entered the house through. But the Redditor never went back to that house. She ended up moving. In her own words, it was the most terrifying thing ever. For someone who's afraid of snakes, I would have to agree. Number 12. The Tin Man If you've ever babysat, you've probably experienced a creepy moment or four. 
Redditor Creepypasta, spelled with a K, shares her experience babysitting in the middle of nowhere. The family's home was in the mountains near the coast. The kids had turned in around 9 p.m. and the parents were expected to return home around 10 p.m. The Redditor was watching TV by herself downstairs when the TV started getting staticky off and on. At one point, she looked out the window near the TV and what was reflected was horrifying. A creepy man was reflected behind the couch, not very far from her. She looked behind her and there was no one there. Picking up all her stuff, she raced upstairs and sat near the sleeping children until the parents returned. When they arrived, she hurried out the door. But the Tin Man saga wasn't over. In her own words, I was pulling out of their driveway and I looked up into the kid's bedroom window. The same reflection I saw earlier was looking back down at me with a hand raised as if waving goodbye. I have never babysat again. We can't blame you on that one. Number 11. Come Hither. This entry is from Redditor Alice in Blunderland. Alice was left at home by her parents in the early 90s while they made a quick late night run to the store. They didn't have many neighbors as they lived in a rural area. So imagine poor Alice is surprised when a strange car pulled up their driveway and turned off its headlights. Cell phones weren't a big thing at the time, so nine-year-old Alice was truly all on her own. Apart from the inside lights in the front porch light, the outside was pitch dark, but she could still make out the blonde dude getting out of his car and approaching her front door. Being that Alice was peeking through the large bay window, the man looked right back at her. In Alice's own words, his eyes locked on me as he lifted his finger in a come hither motion. I had never seen him before in my life. Alice raced back to her parents' bedroom, locked the door, and phoned up her uncle who told her to stay put while he rushed over to save the day. By the time he arrived, the man had disappeared. Alice was lucky that day, and especially lucky that she had such a great uncle. Word to the wise, strangers at the door are never to be trusted. Number 10. The Weeping Woman Have you ever started hearing things while home alone? The real Reeps was listening to music in a back room of her rental house when she removed her headphones only to hear what sounded like a woman crying. The sound increased as she approached the door while simultaneously seeming further and further away. As she reached for the door handle, four loud footsteps stomped towards her door and the weeping stopped. The Redditor was just standing there, reaching towards the doorknob afraid to open it. After getting it together, the Redditor opened the door quickly, expecting someone to be on the other side, but there was no one. In the Redditor's own words, I heard the crying noises again randomly throughout the rest of my tenancy at that house, but the noise of those steps behind the door will stay with me forever. What could it have been? I guess we'll never know. Number 9. The Rattling Beads Redditor Meg7 shares her story of being left home alone for the first time in junior high. Meg's parents actually left her for an entire week. All was going well, that is, until one night when she was scared straight by Smokey, the faithful dog. She was watching TV in the basement where one hallway had decorative beads hanging in the entrance. Smokey was curled up at the foot of her bed when out of nowhere he started barking like crazy a bark she said she'd never heard before. Thinking something was the matter, she tried to grab him but he dove under the bed where he remained still and silent. Just as she was looking for Smokey under the bed, the entryway beads started rattling loudly. For a moment she sat there frightened before going to investigate the matter bat in hand. In her own words, the beads are still swinging with force Every door and window in the house is still locked from the inside. There aren't any vents close to the beads, and Smokey refused to come out from under the bed for another two hours. To this day, I have no idea what caused those beads to rattle. Human or ghost, your guess is as good as mine. This appears to be an incident where we will never know for sure. Number 8. Nuclear 
Imagine you were home alone at 16 when a nuclear event kicked off. Redditor Little Dolly doesn't have to imagine it. She was home alone during the day, studying for the GCSE, when a siren started sounding as she was in the kitchen getting a drink. Her family lived beside an army base, and the siren in question was a warning siren designated for significant incidents, a nuclear event for instance. In her own words, I almost wet myself in fear, ran and grabbed some food, water, and blankets and shut myself in the tiny hallway that is the only room in the house without windows. Luckily, after waiting it out for an hour or more, nothing bad was to be had. She decided to take a risk and leave her safe space to give her mom a call. Her mom told her that the siren was just a test and the base had sent out a notification of the test beforehand, a message that I'm sure her daughter would have appreciated being given. At least it didn't go all end of the world up in there. Number 7. The Stranger What if you were home alone when a group of men surrounded your house? That's what happened to Redditor Why Don't You Love Me who was only about 6 or 7 when he was left home alone with his 9 year old sister. It was their first home alone experience and likely their last after what happened. The pair's father told them he'd be gone for about 40 minutes. It was dusk and about 20 minutes after he left, a strange pickup truck flew into their driveway. They only saw shadows in the darkness but it was clear that six hooded men sprang out of the truck bed, hoisting axes, chainsaws, and other scary-looking equipment. Imagine seeing this as a six-year-old child. Imagine the pure terror. Before the kids knew it, the men had dispersed around their house. The pair decided it was best to split up and keep an eye on the men. They were yelling back and forth to each other. He's behind the garage. The others are by the front door. When they realized the men had the house surrounded, they raced upstairs and punched in the panic code on the alarm. In the Redditor's own words, a few minutes later, several cop cars showed up, sirens blazing. But by that point, it was too late. The hooded men were already cutting our grass and trimming the hedges. Oh boy, the poor landscapers must have had quite a fright too that night. Number 6. The Creeper We've all done it rented the cheap flat on the dodgy side of town to save a few bucks. Redditor too grateful to be hateful learned their lesson the hard way. The Redditor and her fiancé had purchased a foreclosed home in a bad neighborhood because the price was great, but she admits they should have known better. Why? Well, one night she was falling asleep in bed around 2 a.m. while her fiancé was at work. There was a window about a foot away from her bed and suddenly she heard something scratching at it. At first, she thought it was squirrels, but then she heard someone cursing and a screwdriver lifting the window frame. The woman screamed that she was calling the cops, which seemed to have done the trick because whoever it was was no longer trying to break in. She did in fact call the cops, but after searching her yard, they found no one. As the police were leaving, she heard on their radios that another break-in had been reported in the neighborhood to which the officers were being called. The woman returned inside, locked the door, and got on the phone with her fiancé, who was by then on the way home from work. He wanted her to stay on until he got home, and as soon as she heard footsteps on the ramp in their backyard, she felt relief wash over her. She thought her fiancé was home and hung up the phone to greet him at the back door, but hold up, it wasn't so. He called her back instantly and said he wasn't in the neighborhood yet. So again, the woman called the police. This time when the cops arrived, so did the fiancé. They said a man had been attempting to break into several houses on the block with a screwdriver. For some reason, they were always one step behind him. Lucky for this woman, nature was her savior when he tried to enter into her bedroom. In the Redditor's own words, one of the officers went to the bedroom window and saw the screen removed. He had disturbed a huge wasp nest when he took the screen off, and my tiny little wasp defender saved the day. If anyone was wondering, these two are currently looking for a new home. Number 5. Hazard Anyone who's lived alone knows the feeling. Having something stuck in your throat and wondering if you're about to choke and pass away. 
Redditor Heaps Flaceed is right there with you. He was eating steak when a big chunk got stuck in his esophagus, a feeling which is completely terrifying. In his own words, after a few unsuccessful attempts at coughing it up, I resorted to sticking my fingers down there and just managing to fish it out. This was followed by 5-10 to 10 minutes of staring at this chewed up piece of steak sitting on the carpet, pondering life, then I went back to video games. As it turns out, the Redditor had every reason to be terrified. One Redditor in the comments, Ninja Beth, said that her boyfriend was an EMT and a choking incident was his first call. Even though the woman hadn't been alone, in fact, she was in a restaurant surrounded with people, she'd choked and passed away. And what was the culprit? Again, a piece of steak. I think I'll have to become a vegetarian if I ever live alone. Number 4. The Black Glove Have you ever felt like you were being watched? One anonymous redditor wrote that when she was home alone in the middle of the day, she decided to fold the towels for her mom before she returned home. But as she was folding, she kept feeling like someone or something was watching her. It was such a strong feeling that paranoia was churning her stomach. She kept looking behind her and of course there was nothing. And looking over her shoulder about 10 times, she thought she'd just look over one last time and that was it. What did she see? In her own words, in the midst of my head turn, I suddenly see what looked like a black gloved hand reach from behind and rest on my shoulder. I even felt the weight of it. The girl freaked out and raced to leave the house. Just as she was out the door, her mom pulled up. After explaining that someone was inside, the girl's mom went to investigate, keys in between her fingers, Freddy Krueger style. After checking the entire house, the brave mom came back outside and said there was no one there. The girl wouldn't go back inside for a long time because she was sure of what she saw and felt. To this day, she didn't like being in the kitchen in her mom's house and she'll never turn her back. With never knowing for sure what actually happened, we can't blame her. Number 3. Face First If you flinch whenever a bird flies into a window, then prepare yourself for this one. Know This Nomad posted his home alone experience on Reddit. He was 8 at the time and he wasn't completely alone. His 6 year old brother was there as well, but his parents were both out when the little brother began chasing him around brandishing the TV remote. In an attempt to throw an obstacle into the 6 year old's path, older brother shut the glass door between the living room and the dining room. He assumed his little bro would of course open it before resuming the chase but it would give Big Bro enough time to get away. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. He ran face first into the glass pane, shattering it and himself. Only about a minute later, the dad came walking into the house, glass everywhere. Luckily, the boy walked away with nothing but a few stitches. Sounds like Big Brother was scared for his life though. He writes, it wasn't just my scariest home alone moment, but probably one of the scarier moments in my life. Number 2. The Breaker Box What if you were home alone and your power went out on purpose? That's what almost happened to Redditor TGDRV. This Redditor lived out in the countryside with no neighbors nearby. It was getting dark out and she was eating dinner while watching TV in her living room when she heard a truck idling. She at first didn't pay it any attention because sound travels where she lives, it's so remote. The sound could have been coming from miles away, but the idling continued for 10 minutes before she heard the vehicle leaving, stopping briefly, then leaving again. For context, this Redditor's driveway was about a third of a mile long, and it seemed that the vehicle had driven down the drive and then decided against it and turned around. After this episode, she returned to the kitchen to do the dishes, only there was no running water. She thought that perhaps the well's breaker had tripped, a breaker box was attached to a pole outside, which had a couple of switches, one of which controlled the well pump. The house's main line wasn't on it. So our Redditor went outside to check things out. There she found the breaker's box door wide open. Someone had likely flipped the switch, thinking it would turn the house's power off, and the resident would come outside to check the breaker box, and there they'd be vulnerable. Our Redditor has a lot more grit than most. 
in her own words. I locked my gate for the night and then again when I left for work the next morning and for a long time after that. In fact, the next day it had rained a lot and someone had returned. The rain revealed the tire imprints in the driveway where the intruder had found the gate locked and did a three-point turn to exit. Who wanted so desperately to enter the property and what were their intentions? We'll never know. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new video we upload every Tuesday. Number 1. Rural Appalachia Lots of crazy stuff goes down in rural areas, but rural Appalachia is a whole new kind of crazy. Redditor HiDingyDo describes an incident that occurred when he rented a small house in a mining town in Appalachia where he lived alone. He was woken at 4am one night to his doorknob turning. Thinking someone might have just had the wrong address, he yelled out from inside, Wrong place, buddy. Instead of leaving, our buddy started trying more aggressively to get in, pounding out the door. That's when the growling and wild animal noises began. The Redditor sat in wait, armed with a kitchen knife, and called police. When the cops arrived ten minutes later, he was told to wait inside, which he did in absolute silence for about twenty minutes. Then all of a sudden, his living room window screen was being bashed as the intruder attempted to climb inside. The Redditor told the man what he was holding, but the police were on it. From outside, they shouted at the man to get on the ground. After tackling the intruder and hauling him to the cop car, the officers knocked on the door to tell the Redditor that the suspect had been arrested. So who was the intruder and what did he want? The Redditor only has guesses, so we'll never know for sure. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!